Hello and welcome to Flory Models Get View Time. Today we've got Gecko Models latest release. This is a 135th scale 15 ton water Bowser truck, which is the Bedford MWC 15 4x2. Again, a nice looking truck as we can see down in here. Again, it's really nice to see that some of the, uh, the Bowsers, obviously this is water Bowser and fuel trucks and stuff like that are making their way along now in obviously 72nd and 35th scale. So as you can see, very nice box art on the front here. Again, some of the things we can get in here. One nice little thing, obviously I haven't looked in the box, but looking on the outside of the box, nice bit of photo etch, and we've actually got a standing figure as well. Nice little aftermarket touch on that one. Uh, your kit number for this one is 35GM0024. Okay, this is the closed cab version, so it makes you wonder if they're going to be doing an open cab version. Okay, so some of the different ones down in here. So you sort of got that standard sort of REF1 US markings, as you can see in the green and the desert colours. So inside the box, we are greeted by another box. Gets me every time. Okay, and then in here, you can see we have a nice stuffed box here. So we've got various bags, some crispy tighty bags, some of them not. We've got the roof, the various bits down in there, wheels. Another bag full of small parts, lots of stuff. Got a lot of gear in here. Looks like we've got an engine down in there as well, which is a nice touch. Some of the bigger parts we can see there. We've also got obviously instructions, and we've got a bag here with a little bit of photo etch and with the decor. So, as always, we will start in the old instructions. Okay, so we can get these in. There we go. Okay, right, so working our way through, as we can see. We've got the parts call out as always down on here. We've got nothing greyed out, so obviously we are using the lot. Okay, and then straight forward into it. So you can see detailed chassis having to be put together right the way through with the crossbars and everything going in. Leaf spring system being fitted into that one as well. So very nice. Again, a little bit of photo etch in places you probably wouldn't traditionally think where they're going to be going, but it just shows you the level of detail that is on these kits. Okay, we've actually got the uh, drive shafts and the various parts being fitted down into this one into the engine again a nice detailed engine right the way through radiator going on there things like that fitting it through into the gearbox and the various parts being done and as i say prop shaft being fitted into their chassis exhaust various things and again nice to see we've got some little bit of lineup in here down in here to show you exactly how that is going to be running down through the chassis okay and then basically steering being fitted onto this one wheels being fitted on same as we've seen in some of their other kits as well where technically you've got a tire hub type system that are separate makes for easy painting okay all of those being fitted on there as we can see okay and then right the way through on that one and then obviously some of the more of the components building up the chassis onto this one we've got the wheel arches going onto it we've got the fuel tank being fitted onto them so obviously two fuel tanks one each side going down in there front wheel arches being fitted on okay and then we're into the cab so we've got all the details going down in the cab the steering the foot pedals as you can see fully detailed right the way through on this one okay and then obviously all the various items going in we've got some of the boarding being fitted in for around the back of the cab and then building it up as well so you've got your windscreen being fitted onto that one again by the looks of it, it's what they call closed cab we're assuming because it's all closed up okay so we don't actually have an option looks like for leaving it open which is a shame because you should be able to it's just looking at the hinges the way they are I'm not sure about that one but definitely the windows being closed obviously these can open up forward as well okay over onto this side as you can see the actual cab being fitted onto the chassis working its way through front end going down in there the grills the various parts some other little details to show you how it's all supposed to be fitted down in there bonnet fitted open or closed nice to see we get a nice little reference photo down in here as well and then <clears throat> Over onto the other side, fitting up the final parts right the way on this one. And then obviously you've got the rag roof going on the top. Okay, so we've got that one being fitted down into there, as you can see. Into the Bowser area, so we've got the mechanics of it into the back and all the, the various parts being fitted in. Obviously both of those going in there on each side, the hoses, all the stowage equipment, as you can imagine, into the back of this one, all being fitted down onto it. Obviously filler port being done, open or closed, nice touch. Closed or open for the rear position as well, for getting into all the equipment. And then obviously the various pumps and the various stuff being fitted onto the outside. And it looks like we've got a sprinkler system 
uh, on there as well okay and then obviously those all being fitted down and in spare utility things like fuel cans water cans things like that being fitted onto the vehicle and all the last minute details which really bring it up and alive like the hosing and showing you exactly how all of that gets fitted down into it with the actual pumps things like that spare wheel being fitted onto the outside and again with the stowage equipment being fitted on just like that and then last up all the final parts being added onto it and then our figure which you can have stood next to it and obviously painting him he's basically flesh and flat earth and khaki onto that one making that one up like that okay obviously we've got various ones down in here clearing station july 1944 in with the sort of uh, browns okay more browns down in here so we've actually got one infantry with the welsh july 1944 we've obviously got another one down in here november 1944 and then one on the back down in here uh, which is late 1944 okay and again very nice to see them it's very nice in the green I must admit really nice because it will show off the actual car key of the uh, soft top uh, onto that one right the way through again one of those ones where you first look at it and you think well it's going to be quite simple no it's not it's actually fully fully detailed which is the nice thing about it so where to start as we've seen it's very very modular so from that point of view, we're not going to have any big parts down in here. You've got to build up all the parts. Okay, so starting uh, down in here. So as we can see, we've got all the parts down in here, all looking very, very nice indeed. And then we might be able to get them in the close up this way. So this is that uh, the actual chassis. The framework going along which you can see good sharp details all the way on these one. We've got the pumps, we've got the size. The bowels are down in there. We've got the floors, the rear doors, the various parts, that sort of sprinkler bar system, and the top hatches, fuel, as you can see. There's a little bit of burring on some of the parts, but really, it's it's very, very cleanly, sharply molded. All of these areas, you can probably see down in here, they're actually good, sharp, crisp details right the way through. And even on the blind side, if we run around it on here, you can see, looking very, very nice indeed very very good okay some of the other parts just down in here we've got this one here with one of the wheels and some of the arches as we can see again good clean crisp the actual uh, ejector pins and things like that they are not anywhere you would worry about all the smaller parts are actually devoid of them and even the actual gates onto the parts they're very small on the delicate parts, some of the other flat ones it's not too bad but the smaller parts it's actually quite delicate sprue gates onto the part as well so very very nice indeed we've got this little guy down in here again showing off all that gorgeous detail right the way through again really very very nice indeed right the way down to this guy down here i don't know if you can see it but it actually looks like ejector pins but don't forget this is the wrong side ejector pins are on this side so it actually small little details right the way running across all the parts down on there it looks absolutely fantastic gorgeous okay so we've got the canvas roof here okay and some of the other parts so this is sprue a uh, as you can see here looking very very nice indeed and then moving on to the close-up you've got good definition on this soft top on the canvas roof here looks very sort of authentic the way it'd be pulled in and pulled along stuff like that got the firewall i assume down in here for the truck got the axles the various parts the leaf springs working right the way across very nicely, good cleanly moulded all of it. I can't actually see any real problems on that at all. And again, on the blind side, looking nice, got a little tiny bit of flash. To be honest, the camera's picking this up more than my eye is. Looking up at the screen, you've got a closer view than my eyes. So as you can see, nice. And even on the inside of the canvas roof, there's no big ejector pins in there or anything else you're gonna have to worry about. So actually that's very nice indeed. Again, a lot of the detail parts on here, as you can see, we've got the various some of the stowage items but a lot of the actual internals for making up the chassis so a lot of the crossbars we've got the prop shafts the things like that down in there as well or drive shafts i should say 
Again, really very, very nicely done, both sides. As you can see, ejector pins are all nicely out of the way. Most of them are off the parts, which is quite nice indeed. Okay, so in here we have the engine. So, first of all, we've got the actual, the arches. And again, nice, solidly molded, clean. We've got the bonnet there on the inside. We've got no ejector pins anywhere underneath those parts, which is very nice to see. So no ugly ejector pins to take care of or anything else like that. So that's very nice. And then over here, we've got the actual engine. So as you see, once you get all the parts onto that engine, look absolutely fantastic. A couple of things, the way that the, the blades for the radiator fan, are, they're actually angled. They're not just flat, they're actually angled. So that's actually a nice touch with that one. And again, all the components building up the engine, the alternators and various parts on there, very nice. And even the radiator, I know it's not showing up particularly well on camera, but that is actually a very, very tight grid on there. Very nice indeed. Good work on that. Okay, that's our figure. So down in here we've got some of the smaller parts in our little zip bag here. So we've got the seat and the various items down in here on sprue three. We've got a rifle and a few bits of the stowage items. Again, the seat's very nice, got a few curves in it, things like that as well. So very good indeed. And then obviously two seats, so that's a match pair on those and then another match pair down in here for the wheel so obviously good you know for the actual wheel nuts we're running around on here and everything else good stuff sides of the tires all the details in there very nice indeed very nice obviously two of those with that <coughs> and then we've got another little bag and some tiny little parts so some of these are assuming are duplicates so we've got these two, which are duplicate parts, just down on there like that. Okay, so they're very nice indeed. And then we've got these two duplicates here on D. So as you can see, both of them, some very, very small parts, as you can see. Still beautifully done, nice tight mold gates, things like that. That's very nice. And then last up, We've obviously got these as well. Again, very, very nicely done. Good, cleanly molded, very crisp. Solid plastic as well with these, I've noticed. Okay, so we've got the tires, <clears throat> which we've seen these before. The way they do them is very, very nice because there's no seam line running down through the middle or anything else like that. So you get a really nice, good, clean tread pattern because they haven't got to worry about the sidewall because it's in the other way. That little tab down in there, don't cut that off because those hubs lean up against it. Okay, so you get one each side. It would be very easy when you're cutting this off to forget that actually that's not a sprue tab, that's a gate that should be there. Okay, so just mind yourself when you're cutting those out that you don't remove that. But basically we've got five of those in there, so you've got a spare. Then we've actually got <coughs> Some more so we've got the front end grill and the sides various things down in there like that again very nicely done the level of detail is great because not only is it on the outside it's on the insides as well it's all very easy to forget about it it's got all the details down on the insides of this particular kit as well then we've got some of the stowage items just down in here so we've actually got some packs some head uh, helmets a few lids in there okay then we've got obviously another one as well so we got some sort of bags down there bergen some bottles some bandoliers very nice indeed and then obviously we've got the figure so we ran the right way which is really nice two heads as well so we got sort of the standard ref one and then obviously it looks like we've got more of a perhaps the uh, welsh one with a sort of uh, beret system on that one and again looking very very nice indeed Okay, clear parts, which let's face it, they're flat, so they should be clear. <clears throat> and again, they actually pretty are. These here have got a little bit of a curve to them uh, on these side ones, which I don't think we use on this particular version, because it would be a soft top. That's why these are down in here, that these would actually be like that, 
because they are on a soft top. But I didn't see those in the instructions, so I don't think you'd be having those on anyway, maybe for a different version. But again, very nice indeed. Last up, we've just got the photo etch and the markings. So again, lovely bit of photo etch, as you can see just down in here. Very nice indeed. Again, good. It's thin, their photo etch is very, very thin. I like that. And then markings wise, we've just got some, I don't know if this is a reprint, because to be honest, those are awful. So yeah, this is obviously a reprint for these, I'm um, assuming, because those ones, let's face it, look horrible. And then that's what we've got down in there. So not too bad. Forget them down the bottom. We'll just look at that really nice indeed. But again, it's nice that they've caught it and they haven't just chucked it out because let's face it, there's a lot of manufacturers out there who will think, yeah, well, we'll worry about it if people moan about it. But they've seen it, they've caught it, they've added a replacement sheet in there. So, you know, everybody is none the wiser. Again, this is one of those kits, as I said before, when I looked at it originally, I thought it'd be quite a straightforward build. It's not, it's actually incredibly complicated the way it all goes together. But this complication is a good thing because what it does, it means detail. So you've got fantastic detail running right the way through on this one. Just the chassis alone and the engine and everything else. Forget the actual Bowser system and the cab. Before you get to that alone, it's gonna be a master in itself. And it's a shame that by the time everything's gone on, you're gonna lose a lot of that detail. But definitely, if you do want a very nice detailed model kit like this, Gecko are kicking out some absolutely fantastic kits at the moment. So there we go, that's the Bedford 15 ton, uh, 200 gallon water bowser truck in 135th scale by Gecko Models.